telecast. The Iowa Hawkeyes are unbeaten. One of three captain, uh, one of three champions of the Big Ten a year ago. They're guided by Lute Olson, who was the Big Ten Coach of the Year last season. Michigan, a bit of a surprise this year, particularly with the loss of Bill Hubbard. I think it's true, Larry. And the thing that I, I'm really looking forward today, the ball airborne quite as they have in the past. They're trying to protect the ball a little bit more, a little bit more selective in the shooting. On the other hand, they have a good margin, you know, between their of output on the other side, Iowa is up tempo now they might not press quite as much with Ronnie Lester out of the lineup but it's one thing to press and score it's another thing when the other team is doing too so uh, their defensive grant is very good as well and their margin is even greater they're up around 23 points so it's going to be kind of boiling down to see who makes the fewest mistakes in this ball game now it'll be interesting to see how the Hawkeyes operate without Ronnie Lester here today Stay with us now. It should be a good basketball game. Iowa Hawkeyes unbeaten coming into this afternoon's second game of the Big Ten season. The Hawkeyes under the direction of Lute Olson have won 10 straight. And Fred Taylor was talking earlier about Lute Olson's club with that fine offensive production and good defense. The Hawkeyes are giving up an average of just 58.8 points a game while scoring at nearly an 80 point per game clip. The Wolverines have lost just two in 10 10 starts to Toledo, a power in the Mid-American Conference, and to Mississippi during the holidays. We'll take a look at the starting lineup for this afternoon's game as these two clubs come in 1-0 in the Big Ten race. The University of Iowa having won a tweaker on Thursday evening and Michigan prevailing over the University of Minnesota here at Chrysler Arena on Thursday night. Taking a look at the starting lineup for the University of Iowa and Michigan. Starting at one forward, a junior from Cleveland, Ohio, number 32, Vince Brookins. For the University of Michigan, a junior from Omaha, Nebraska, number 40, Mike McGee. Mike averaging 24.9 points a game. For the Hawkeyes, a freshman from Iowa City, number 44, Mark Gannon. For Michigan, a sophomore at the other forward spot from Hammond, Indiana, number 45, Thad Garner. At center for the University of Iowa, a junior from Iowa City, number 52, Steve Waite. And for the Wolverines, starting at center, will be a junior from Akron, Ohio, number 15, Paul Hireman, who is still battling the effects of mononucleosis, which sidelined him for a couple of weeks. At the guards for Iowa, a sharpshooting sophomore from Chicago, Illinois, number 40, Kevin Boyle. For the University of Michigan, another sophomore from Detroit, number 25, Keith Smith, who is the floor general for the Wolverines. The other guard spot for the Hawkeyes, still another sophomore, Chicago, Illinois, number 30, Kenny Arnold. And for the University of Michigan, starting at the other guard spot, a junior from Barberton, Ohio, wearing number 24, Marty Bodner, a sharpshooter from outside. The coaches for today's game, Luke Olson, the Big Ten Coach of the Year for Iowa last season. And the veteran and the dean of Big Ten coaches, Johnny Orr for Michigan. We'll be back with a start of this afternoon's game after we pause for this message. Silva, Rucker, and Solomon with George Solomon, the referee. The other two are the umpires as we get ready to go for the opening tip. Here are the Iowa starters, Brookins, Gannon, Waite, Arnold, and Boyle. And the ball game is underway as the Hawkeyes control. Here are the starters for Michigan. McGee and Garner up front along with Hireman, Bodner, and Smith in the backcourt. On the right side it comes now, Vince Brookins into Gannon. He's been a surprise for the Hawkeyes. Come on, Mark, Mark, Mark. On top it goes now to Waite. On the right side, Kenny Arnold. Michigan is playing a matchup zone for the most part. We've got a hell of a ball as Smith put the pressure on Kenny Arnold for five seconds. And the Wolverines got a jump ball out of it. That'll be Kenny Arnold and Keith Smith. We're in the early seconds of the ball game, no score. Ball is controlled by Boyle over to the right side. Arnold long and he scores. Well, Kenny so far, Arnold. Pardon me, so far the thumb hasn't bothered him. Although I do think it held up a little bit of his shooting technique a minute ago. Now, Thad Garner couldn't find the handle in front of the Hawkeye bench, and Michigan turns the ball over to Iowa. Arnold brings
brings the ball down the floor. He's a sophomore from Chicago. A lot of youth on the floor this afternoon. Being guarded by Keith Smith, who's also a sophomore. Brookings. Boyle. To the baseline it goes. Brookings with a jumper, he scores. And it's four to nothing. The Hawkeyes out quickly. With a couple of baskets. Now here comes Smith. Marty Bonner with the ball. Iowa playing a man-to-man -man defense here in the opening moments. McGee loses the ball. That's the second turnover. Picked up now by Brookings. Here's two on two. Feed the right side. Boyle jumper. It's a round and out. Rebound is pulled out by Garner. Outlet pass to Keg Smith. Smith, good feed. Way up the stretch by McGee. Now they pull it off the board rather quickly and got it down the court, and it's a 4-2 ball game. Iowa leads. Arnold being shadowed by Smith. That's Brookins, watched by McGee. Kevin Boyle. Again on the post, it goes to Wade. He drives, puts it up from the baseline. It's short, gets it back, puts it up, and scores. That's the one thing Michigan can't afford to have happen. They cannot give up second shots. They're not a very big team to begin with. That was a problem that plagued Michigan against Minnesota with its great size on Thursday evening. Minnesota had a huge advantage in the rebounds because of that great strength on the boards. Hireman from long range. Long rebound coming out, cleared by Arnold. He drives the length of the court, puts it up. It's blocked and driven to the side by Garner. Now it goes the other way to McGee. He drives, he scores. That's what you call getting up and down the court pretty fast. Say, watch this block shot. The drive, he takes it right on in here. Going hard, number 30, and 45 in behind with a good clean block. Boy, Garner went right over the top of Hireman to bake the block. And Michigan scoring on the other end with a fast break. 6-4, Iowa leads cut to a basket. And it goes to Wade of the lane. Right hand hook is not good, but we've got a foul inside. And this uh, may go against Hireman. It is. That's the first personal of the ball game. And Steve Waite will be at the line to shoot a couple for the Hawkeyes. Larry, to get back to my original statement about the shooting percentage and uh, Michigan not giving up second shots, in each of the last four games, Michigan opponents have shot as well from the floor or better than Michigan. Uh, it really is a critical area. And there's not much you can do about it except good positioning. You can't uh, grow them. Positioning and being very patient with the basketball. Wait gets one for two. It's seven to four, Iowa. Played nearly three minutes of the first half. Smith on the right. Bodner, back to Smith. High post, Hireman. They split it. Bodner in the corner. Brings it out, feeds under to Garner, loses the ball, rolling around, and dug up by Iowa's Steve Waits. And it comes down to Boyle. Off pass to the left side. Ruckins, got it. For Vince Brookins, and it's nine to four, Iowa. <laughs> McGee looking inside for Smith. He was shut off. Now it's back to Bodner. Fakes a shot, doesn't take it. McGee does and scores. That's six points for McGee. He has really had the hot hand for the Wolverines so far this season. I'll say he has, and he's just about ten percentage points better than last year. And everyone knows he could shoot. He has great rage. Yeah, he's not afraid to put it up. 9-6 to score. Ball knocked away, but retrieved, and a foul is called on the far side. That'll be on McGee. We might mention to you uh, our position is opposite the camera, so when we're talking about far side, near side, that's not the same as you're looking at it on your monitor. We really know where we're located, don't we, Fred? <laughs> In it comes, the boil. Gives the ball to Arnold. Watched by Smith. 9-6, Iowa leading Michigan. Four minutes gone in the first half. Underneath, the shot by Gannon rolls off the front, and Hireman cleans him off. The Garner. His pass broken up, but Bad gets it back, and then... We've got a whistle. So with 15-52 left in the first half, it's Iowa 9 and Michigan 6. Taylor speaking to you from Chrysler Arena in Ann Arbor. 
Tomorrow, starting at 12.30 Eastern time, it's the big one in the AFC as the Pittsburgh Steelers take on the Houston Oilers. The season ends for one team and the other heads for the Super Bowl. We'll start our coverage with the NFL 79 previewing the Houston-Pittsburgh rivalry. That's becoming one of the most intense in the National Football League. Then we'll kick off the AFC championship game all tomorrow here on NBC. A foul underneath as McGee missed the shot, and the foul will be charged against Paul Hireman, and that does not suit the fans on hand. Here's McGee's drive the baseline, fades and jumps, hits the rim, bounces out, then Hireman comes out and fouls. That's his second personal, the third team foul against the Wolverines. The Hawkeyes lead by three, 15-27 left in the first half. Lost out of bounds on the far side by Arnold, but the Iowans will retain possession. Arnold averaging 12 points a game. Look for the man coming down the lane, but couldn't get it to him and fed to Gannon instead. Cross court to Boyle. Well, one of the top freshmen in the Big Ten last year. The three scorer in the squad, number two rebounder. Michigan in that zone defense. Wait, cross to the right side. Brookins launches and scores. That's six points for Vince Brookins. Six of the 11 on the board for Iowa. 11 to six, Iowa leads, and the Green fans are starting to pick it up a little bit here as the locals have fallen behind. This is Hireman working against Wait, speeds to the corner to Smith. Out it comes again to Bodner. McGee is open in the corner, moves in for a running jumper. It's high off the glass, follows his own shot. Not good, knocked out of bounds by Waits, and Michigan retains possession. There's a real good matchup going on between Gannon and Garner. They're guarding one another, and they're really going at each other. All knocked away by Boyle, comes back into the backcourt. Smith has to go after it. Now feeds Bodner. McGee is alone in the corner, shoots around and out. Hireman with a rebound, and a foul is called inside. And this will go against Kenny Arnold, who nailed Hireman when he came off with the rebound. Arnold's first personal. There's McGee's shot out of the left-hand corner. Comes out, and Hireman comes down with it, but Kenny Ar Arnold fouls him, as you saw. Bonder in the corner. Long range, Smith got it. Keith Smith gets his first bucket of the afternoon. 11 to 8, Iowa by 3. We played six minutes in the first half. Long far sideline to Boyle. Under to Arnold, and he is fouled. Looks like this will be on Keith Smith. There, Arnold's in low. He's taking the smaller Smith inside. And, of course, he's fouled on the, on the pass in, not after the movement. Michigan zoning the inbound play. Boyle at the baseline puts it up and in. Kevin Boyle's first basket. And Iowa leads now by five, 13 to eight. Bounce pass down the lane. Smith can't get it away, gets it out to Bodner. The Hireman doesn't take it, brings it out front, forces one up. He's Arnold went right past Wait, It's not what you call your basic percentage shot, was it? No, but he had good body balance and control on it. And he narrows the gap to three. Iowa 13, Michigan 10. Arnold launches. Around it out. Ironman cleans it off. Out it comes to Smith. Smith against Arnold. Top of the circle to Gardner. Bodner brings it out front, gets it to McGee. The Gardner hit him in the knee with a bounce pass, and Gannon picks it up. He feeds the Boyle, return pass to Gannon, and he's called for traveling. Good job there by Keith Smith calling, causing the he turnover. Did. did a good job. Looks like Gannon fouled up his knee. Let's take another look at it here, Fred. There's the fast break. Ball comes to Boyle. He takes it in, looks left, and throws right. And Smith gets right over there and did a good job of, of blocking the uh, drive. I just hope it isn't a serious injury, although they appear to be taking him into the dressing room. Yeah, and it looked like he was trying to hold up in order to avoid contact with Smith. Right. And, and then I think right he jammed, jammed the knee to the floor. Uh, I think 
a very similar situation to what occurred down at Dayton with Ronnie Lester in the finals of that tournament. Again, a 6'6 freshman is going to be helped to the dressing room, and the fans here at Chrysler Arena are giving him a big hand as he leaves the floor. Well, he went a full 40 minutes at uh, Champaign Thursday night. It's 13 to 10, Iowa leads Michigan. 12.57 left in the first half. Bodner to Hireman, fakes a shot at the line, gets it to McGee on the left. He's guarded by Kevin Boyle. Out to Garner, fires the left hander up, no good. Hireman with a rebound, puts it up, missed the shot. McGee follows once, twice, and it's finally pulled down by Vince Brookins. Out it goes to Boyle. He's got three on two developing, feeds to the left corner to Kratison. Out it comes now, long right hander is off the front of the rim by Arnold, and the Wolverines bring it back. Three on three, feed to Bodner, open for the right hander, he scores. Uh, the tempo's picking up now. Both teams have started to go 94 feet. Well, Michigan plays extremely well when it can go the full distance. The Wolverines have narrowed the gap to one. That front loot also up off the net. Michigan has to rely on its quickness uh, right. in order to, to win in the Big Ten. It was a good adjustment on defense that time. Garner came out when he saw that uh, there was a chance for a trap. Bodner fires from the corner, scores, and Michigan takes a one-point lead, 14-13. to 13. That's Bodner's second straight. And the Wolverines lead by one. Arnold to the left side. Out it comes now to Brookins. The Boyle, and we've got a foul inside. This will go against Papasen for pushing. It's 14-13, Michigan by one, 11.46 left in the half. We'll be back with more basketball in a moment. Sports World, we've got one of the most famous basketball magicians of all time. It's Meadowlark Lemon and his exciting Bucketeers. Hysterical antics and great basketball action as Meadowlark, together with Will Chamberlain and Marcus Haynes, teases, clowns, shoots, and dunks for an amazed crowd. It's basketball at its funniest one week from tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Time on NBC Sports World. Wolverines lead by one. Here's Smith moving in, forces one up. It's falling short. Hanson loses it to Smith. Smith out to McGee, open for the right hander. He scores. That's eight for McGee, and the Wolverines' largest lead stands at three. This is Bob Hanson bringing the ball down the court. Gives to Boyle, to Craftson. Now Brookins launches. He scores. Well, Iowa has both of their big men in there now. They're going to have to look inside. Iowa cuts the lead to one. Garner across to McGee. Open score. Shoots again and scores again. That's 10 for McGee. Boy, Fred, when he finds that spot and he starts putting it up, he is incredible. He seldom shoots unless he has the ball. <laughs> he gets it quite a bit. Well, he has a nose for the basketball, too. That he is doing this year that he did not do last. He is following his own shots instead of watching it. Ball knocked away, and the Wolverines will take over as a result of the turnover. Well, I think that turnover came because of Michigan's ag aggressive defense. They're really working on the people inside. During the halfway point of the first half, Michigan leading Iowa 18 15. Modner to Smith, and he is called for traveling. So the Wolverines turn it right back. Big. Here's McGee. He has 1,301 career points. And he had really an off year last season, regardless of what you see statistically. It was not a banner year for McGee. He's thrown away by the Hawkeyes, and Michigan takes it back. He's up 10 percentage points over a year ago, which I think speaks to the, to the point that he's playing much more solidly this year. Wolverines 18, Iowa 15. has it knocked away by Brookins. Loose ball, and it's dug up by Boyle. Two on two, Boyle takes to the right side. And on the post, put up by Waits, he scores. That's four points for Steve Waits, the big 6'10 junior from Iowa City. And the Hawkeyes have narrowed it to one, 18-17. Bodner looking inside. Hireman's open. He scores. That's four for Hireman. 
Johnny Orr, not uh, a bit unhappy with what he has seen from Hireman since he returned from the bout with mononucleosis. Every, has been very effective. Everyone should get a piece of mononucleosis <laughs> to play that well. At the baseline, at the boil, high post, waits, fall away, around it out, cleared by Garner. Garner bumped by Boyle, and Boyle has called for a foul. That's Kevin's first personal, the third team foul against the Hawkeyes. There's the rebound. Garner comes out with it, starts to dribble, and Boyle just takes a, a rap at the ball. Really kind of a foolish foul. Yeah, you hate to see those in the backcourt, don't you, right, Coach? Especially out of a good player. 2017, Michigan by three, nine, ten left in the half. Bodner looks for Bod uh, McGee. McGee is driving the lane, and he is called for traveling. And not, much, guys. not much doubt about where he wanted to go. No, he put his head down. Looked like he was going for five. <laughs> Johnny Orr up, doing a little hollering. McGee has a tendency toward traveling when he begins a drive. Jumper from the side by Brookins is in. That's 10 points for Vince Brookins, who has enjoyed a very successful first half. 20 to 19, 8.45 left in the first half. Michigan by one. Ironman. Ironman trying to move in against the big guy. Got it.